Hello and welcome to our daily video devotion called Certain Joy in Uncertain Times. We are working our way very slowly through the book of Philippians and it's in this book that we find the joy that we have in Christ alone uh, and it is applicable to the world we're living in because we are living in su such uncertain times and so we want this certain joy that we can only find in our Savior Jesus. Uh, we are in chapter 2. Uh, we're going to take a little longer section than we have been lately. Uh, we're going to read verses 19 through 24 of chapter 2. Paul writes, I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you. I have no one else like him who will show genuine concern for your welfare. For everyone looks out for their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. But you know that Timothy has proved himself because as a son with his father, he has served with me in the work of the gospel. I hope, therefore, to send him as soon as I see how things go with me. And I am confident in the Lord that I myself will come soon. Here you see or get a glimpse at Paul's relationship with Timothy. They, they are... They are not related, but, but boy, they are brothers, aren't they? They are brothers in the faith. They are brothers in the ministry. Uh, he, he just talks up Timothy and, and what a blessing he has been to Paul uh, throughout the difficulties of, of his uh, imprisonment and, and out through his ministry. And, and he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to send Timothy to you, right? He wants, he wants uh, Timothy to come and minister to them, to bring news to them, because uh, he's concerned about them. Uh, he, he longs to hear about the faith of the Philippians, right? He wants, wants to hear back from Timothy what's going on with them. So you also see Paul's heart, not just for Timothy, but also for these Philippian Christians. Right? And he goes on for quite a while and, and talks about this relationship he has with Timothy. Um, and, and he says, you know, he's, he's not looking out for his own interests. Interest. He says there's so many out there, right, that are, not look, that are looking out for their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ, but that's not how Paul is, right? Um, and uh, so what a blessing for both Paul and Timothy that they have each other and that they're there to encourage each other. Uh, and, and that too, isn't it a reminder that we need the support of one another. We need each other's encouragement. We need our family of faith. Uh, and, and especially in a time like this, uh, when we can't be together, when we can't physically gather together, how important it is that, that we are encouraging and supporting one another um, as brothers and sisters in faith. And, and so uh, I know I've encouraged you to do this already, but, but think about, pray about ways that you can still support and encourage your fellow Christians, uh, especially your church family. Uh, here at Heritage, that, uh, you know, make, make phone calls to each other, send each other cards, check in with each other, um, text, um, you know, and most certainly pray for each other, right? Uh, so that you can, you can get news about each other and you can know uh, what's going on with one another. And, and there we find joy, right? And notice Paul in this section, um, he has plans. He has plans to send Timothy. He has plans that, that he will eventually come to Philippi to be with those Christians himself. But, but look right at the beginning. He says, I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy. And then at the end, he says, I'm confident in the Lord that I myself will come to. So what these two things tell us is that, that Paul's making plans, but he understands that it's all in God's control. It's, it's all according to his will. Right? He, he, he's making these plans, uh, and, and he knows it's the Lord, though, who will decide what's going to happen. And isn't that good for us to remember too, friends? Uh, that we can make our plans, uh, but, but sometimes God has different things in store. And so uh, we can be confident in the Lord and we can hope in the Lord Jesus when we make good plans and, and plans that are going to bring him glory uh, from all that we can tell. But in the end, uh, God's will is going to be done and that's what we have to pray for. And, and so that, that too applies to the times that we're living in, isn't it? Uh, that we can make all the plans we want um, for the future, but, but really they're in God's hands. Uh, we had a lot of plans uh, to send out 10,000 postcards for Easter and hang 3,000 door hanger invitations uh, and hand out 500 personal invitations to all of our friends and family members and neighbors and they're all sitting here. <laughs> they never got out. Uh, but God has different plans. He's allowing us opportunities still to share the gospel, to still reach many people. Uh, you still have opportunities to share the gospel with your family, friends, and neighbors just in different ways so that we can still look forward to this Easter with joy and, and proclaim the joy of a risen Savior to all in, in different ways than we planned, knowing that it's in God's hands, knowing his work will be done, uh, and uh, knowing that his will 
is always good and it's always perfect and it will always bring him glory and be for our good. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of brothers and sisters in faith who are there to encourage us and to build us up uh, and help us as a family of faith to do just that, to pray for each other, to reach out to each other, to support and encourage one another in the faith. Uh, and uh, we place everything in your hands. Uh, we have made a lot of plans that have not uh, uh, come to pass because of the situation in our world today, but uh, we place everything into your hands and we know that you are good and you are gracious and uh, your will will be done, uh, and it will be for our good and for your glory. Uh, help us to continue to, to grow in our faith to, during this Holy Week, to be focused on the passion of our Savior Jesus, uh, the sin that, of ours that he took to the cross, but the empty tomb from which he arose to assure us victory over sin, death, and the devil. Let this be our hope and our joy, now and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wonderful to have you here. Uh, hope that you join us again. Uh, all of these devotions that we've done are archived on our YouTube channel, so you can check those out if you'd like, share them with others as well, and may God bless your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.